Hey, I'm Jim. I'm one of your co-hosts for NDI November. If you're tuning in today from our LinkedIn page or from any other social media, go to ndinovember.com. Register to view today's webinar and all of the webinars that we're running throughout the month, as well as to get full access to our YouTube playlist with all of the past webinars, including our keynote address from Tarif at ndi.tv. You can also register at ndinovember.com to be entered into all of our drawings for all of our prizes, including lots of the great PTZ cameras, software, education and training, and more. So register at ndinovember.com. One registration gets you access to all the great content throughout the month. I'm really excited about the show coming up with you today because it is featuring NDI workflows using New Blue Title Alive. New Blue Title Alive is going to be a little bit interesting, a little bit different than some of the stuff that we've brought you throughout the month, where we've talked about hardware cameras with NDI technology built into it. We've talked about NDI production systems. Well, today we're going to talk about broadcast quality graphics being brought over NDI into your live production workflow. Let's roll that bump and we'll get right into the show. NDI November, our third annual NDI November. Go to ndinovember.com right now and register and catch out all the great webinars and things we're doing all about NDI. You're going to learn all about how that technology works and all the latest products in that technology. Plus, you're going to get a free digital version of the unconventional guide to NDI when you register. We've got prizes. What kind of prizes? We've got PTZ cameras. We've got Wirecast. We've got New Tech University. We've got the book ndinovember.com. Register now. Thanks for joining us on this webinar for NDI November. We are being joined by New Blue to talk about NDI workflows with New Blue Title Alive. Joining us today is their solutions expert, Joe Zamora. Hey, Joe, how are you? Hey, thanks for how having me. It's a pleasure to be it's, here today. It's our pleasure to have you. Before we get into talking about Title Alive, uh, why don't you take a moment, introduce yourself to our audience. Yeah, so I am New Blue's uh, lead solutions expert. So if you ever get into communication with us through like our trials or just direct outreach program, I'll be the one that usually runs the uh, trainings and uh, demonstrations. If you're ever uh, curious about how it is that you could incorporate uh, Tatter Live into your live production ecosystem. And that's great. And we're going to ask you to do a little bit of those demonstrations for us today. And if uh, you like what you see, if you have more questions, uh, you can feel free to ask those questions directly on our page at Broadfield.live, or you can reach out to us here at Broadfield after the show, or reach out directly to Joe at New Blue, and we'd be happy to help answer your questions and help you identify how exactly Title Alive can fit into your NDI production workflow. Title Alive is a broadcast graphics tool that supports NDI capability. Joe, can you tell us a little bit about uh, how NDI plays into Title Alive? Yeah, so Tidal Life is capable of a variety of different outputs, but NDI being the the uh, topic of focus yep. today, it is capable of outputting NDI graphics with alpha, and it can do this up to 16 channels. So if you want to isolate your individual NDI feeds, whether you're doing a sports production, uh, school production, right, for like a live event ceremony, or maybe a hybrid event or a corporate event, we offer pro uh, graphics templates that you could use to deliver the data through those templates or customize your own. And one thing that we'll actually be covering today that is a brand new to our latest update is actually importing After Effects projects and then broadcasting those over NDI. There's a whole suite of different tools and features that you can take advantage of to generate those graphics and with the capability of bringing in real-time dynamic data to drive the information of those graphics. It, absolutely. And I want to point out that when we talk about Title Alive, we're talking about the availability of three different versions of the Title Live software, Title Live Present, Title Live Sports, and Title Live Broadcast. Joe, before we get into the differences, I want to take a commercial break here to let our audience know that they're actually, we just launched some Black Friday specials on the Title Live family of products, as well as some other uh, new blue software and hardware tools. Uh, so if you're interested in new blue and you like the demo that you're going to see today, now is definitely the time to take advantage of these Black Friday specials. Uh, Black Friday specials with 40% off across the board on the Title of Live software is a great deal uh, for you to get into now. And at the end of today's show, we're also going to announce a winner 
from our NDI November registration for someone who wins a Title Alive broadcast subscription for one year. Uh, so stay tuned, and we will announce the winner of that as well. So, Joe, we talked about the three different versions of Title Alive. Let's start with Title Alive Presents. This is the version I would typically recommend to like a house of worship, education, somebody who is looking to add those broadcast quality titles into a typical presentation type workflow, right? Yes, that's absolutely 100% correct. And one thing that makes this very easy right through the present edition is the is us offering all these uh, sophisticated graphics templates, right? One of the things that you want to do before you get started with a production, especially with House of Worship, have access to great templates, the ability to then, you know, ingest real time data into these. So you'll have access with present things like social media integrations, uh, the ability to drive real time spreadsheets directly to your graphic. Now, do note with this present edition, there is that one channel of output, but you can do that over NDI up to 1080p. That's great. And then the, the next version that we're going to talk about is Title Alive Sport. Uh, obviously, by the name, <laughs> this is created for the sports broadcasters out there. And this is going to give you some of that automation to support scoreboards and other graphic overlays that you would need in the typical sports production, right? Exactly. One of the great things about the uh, sport edition of the software is we provide a variety of ways for you to bring real time sports scoring and statistical data. So, for example, if you don't have access to something like a Dractronics machine or a service that generates these live stats, you can connect them to our scoreboard tool that you can manually use. If you look at the little image there in the thumbnail, you can generate your own little UI, interact with and update the scorebook that way, or use Sportscast, Dectronics, uh, Stat Crew to get real time uh, scoring and statistical data for your graphics. Absolutely, and then the thing that we know from a lot of the people that are tuning in to watch these NDI November webinars is that uh, not all applications fit into a cookie cutter type format. One broadcaster might exactly. be doing a house of worship one week, and then running out to the field to do a sports production the next. And that's where the broadcast version comes in, right? Exactly. And there's even a little bit more in here to, that, that is beyond that. So one, we do include all data controllers for any kind of production you'll be running. You can do up to 16 channels of NDI wow. to 4K. Okay. And then you have a bunch of other small feature bits that you know we can take advantage of and leverage. So really, this is the one-stop shop for pretty much any kind of production that you'd want to run at the highest level fidelity. Absolutely. And when we say broadcast version, we're talking exactly about that. It is live production to create that broadcast production look. Um, when, when you can take the broadcast graphics that you're used to producing in a post-production workflow where we had all of that luxury and time and all the great software tools, and now you can take that and implement it into your live production, that's really the attractiveness of what Title Live and New Blue Software gives you. And uh, Title Live Broadcast is definitely the staple of that. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that workflow, and specifically with the workflow directly from a tool like Adobe After Effects into Title Live, right, Joe? Exactly. So note that this new feature coming out um, at the end of this week is going to be exclusive to broadcast. Okay. And what this workflow addresses is pretty much the issue that a lot of users come to us and one that we understand in the industry is how do I get my After Effects graphics? I got all these amazing graphic design packages that David developed by my design team or I download off of some uh, third party platform. I want to broadcast these live. How can I do it? This is the way that we offer for us to do it, and we'll actually be doing a short demonstration of how all this works uh, real time through the broadcast software. Yeah, absolutely, and that's one of the things that I, you know, Joe and I really worked out before the show is we wanted to make sure we brought you the information on the new Blue Title of Live software, but I really wanted to have Joe on to join us to fire up his machine and kick into a demo and show off exactly what Title of Live can do. So, Joe, why don't we go into that portion of the show now? Sure. So we should be able to see uh, Tire Life 5 broadcast here. Now, I went ahead and um, open up a project. And within this project, we can see that if you're familiar with Tire Life 5, if not, it's pretty straightforward how you can get started. So we'll, we'll go ahead and navigate to file, and then we'll have this import option. Before, we've only had layer, graphic, and media. But now we've introduced a new option to import After Effects. 
Now, simply what you do is you select the option and then you can do two different things. Since we know that After Effects projects are relegated usually to the AEP format, which we do have a direct import option for, or as a MoGert, which is a motion uh, graphics template. These templates are usually generated by people that are like pretty much experts when it comes to designing these uh, graphics templates. And it's usually what you're going to encounter when you're uh, downloading and installing a third party graphic designs. So we can import either of these two. Now, if we take a look exactly of how these designs look within After Effects, this is one that I created myself. We can see that we kind of cursor through the timeline and play it back. We got a header, a subtitle, and an image there. And we can just see it looping back and forth. Now we have a variety of different parameters here. We have an image parameter, two text parameters, along with a variety of different effects and all these different uh, coloring attributes. Now, one thing that's really interesting to note is that yes, Tire Life 5 does have a design tool in all three editions, but sometimes um, it takes a while to get familiar with a design tool. And also there are some limitations to regard because After Effects, you know, we all know After Effects, it's an extremely robust authoring uh, platform. So we wanna give people access to these graphics and retaining the design integrity of them. So what we've allowed is the users to be able to one, bring those as modifiable uh, parameters by then initializing them as an essential graphics package for the Mogur. So we can go into composition, open up the essentials graphics package here, uh, open an essential graphics, and we can drag some of these parameters here to initialize them. Now from here, we simply export the motion graphics template or save the AEP as an AEP file. And then that's where we import them directly into Titer Live using that import method. Now, once these graphics are then imported as After Effects layers, it's actually calling to After Effects in the background, right? We could have, we need require After Effects to be installed, but After Effects doesn't necessarily have to be open like I do have it now. Because if I go in and say, you know, I wanna change that to Joe Zamora there, hit enter, we can see that we're actually calling some renders directly from After Effects. And then it's gonna start renderizing some of this graphic out. Now, one thing that we can note here is that with the AEP file, we have a variety of other parameters and it's exactly the ones that we um, generate from our Mogart. So we have header, subtitle, the image, uh, the two colors of the gradient ramp, the glow intensity, and the fill color for this subtitle text here. Now, right here, I am having a little issue here. Do note I am on a beta build of this. So you might, you might, you might see some behavior that you won't see in the actual full release of this. One nice thing about having the ability to bring in real time data or interacting with these AEP designs is the ability to then assign things like spreadsheets to them. So if we go into here and we go general right spreadsheets and we generate a new input, I do have a spreadsheet file that has things like a header, subtitle and image field and the two colors of the gradient ramp that I can change on the fly. So I can just simply select that file, select the AEP Excel file. And we can see when from here in the Excel demo, we have different fields that can then be used to instruct these updates. Now, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this window here. We have an extension that installs called New Blue Harmonizer. And we're just gonna go ahead and quickly reset just to make sure that we are actually getting these real-time updates because there might be a little bit of issues here that I might be running into, but we'll go ahead and start from the top, bring in that Mogart file. We'll go ahead and get a dialog box that tells us, you know, New Blue is still actively developing this since um, After Effects designs can cover broad range of different ways it can be built. So any feedback that you can give us in regards to, you know, how we can improve this experience for users to, you know, um, really make it so that it's flexible with any kind of design, that feedback is, you know, super valuable to make sure that these graphics function the way you anticipate them to. Now, one thing I'm going to do is quickly close After Effects and then bring that up. Now, if I happen to be having some issues with this, if not, I won't stick on it for too long. That way we don't get too distracted with other things that we might not want to cover. We might want to cover on today's um, demonstration. So go ahead and import that one more time. Bring that Moger in. Go ahead and confirm that. I'm sure outputting the teams and while you're doing all of this is not doing your machine any favors at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, and that's one of the things about being in the live um, production um, kind of space because we can never anticipate that some of this stuff is going to be happening the way Absolutely. it is. So go ahead and launch that real quick. Make sure everything is communicating nice and fine.
And Bring in Joe, while well, we're waiting for that to open up, one yeah, of the go things ahead. that you mentioned that I think is really great to point out is that Tidal Live does have its own design tools. If you're new and you're yes. looking to add graphics to your live production, you can do that within Tidal Live. This broadcast capability exactly. that you're showing off and this new feature from After Effects obviously is for that broadcast graphics operator that is working in After Effects already. And it allows them to take exactly. their broadcast quality graphics using Title of Live directly into their productions. Exactly. That is 100%. Now, I do have it running. So now we can actually play this graphic. And then we can see that I have all my different changes from here. So as I select and update, update these records, we can see one, it updates the logo. We can get those in real time dynamically updating. So we get these color ramps on my preview changing, right, with the color ramp instructions for my Excel sheet. So we get this gradient changing from two colors, a PNG updating. We get that happening here. But one neat little thing is that, let's say I play this live right now. So I have this list that's all pre-curated and it is caching, but if I go, uh, Joe Zamora there and hit enter. We'll get cue that render, and it's actually using the animations from After Effects to push this real time update. And it does the exact same thing with here in the subtitle on the bottom. So you can go uh, solutions expert there, get that quick little render. It sends the new update in, and let's go ahead and throw in a new image there. We'll use that little puppy there, and then there we go. So we pretty much have this seamlessly, you know, ignore, ignoring that little okay. hiccup that I had earlier. It is, in fact, seamlessly communicating with After Effects, right? It's fetching those renders. Sure. It's making requests to independent fields of information and sending it all in real time with animations. It, it, that's great. And, you know, you're showing off a, a, a small example of importing a spreadsheet with three different rows and three different parameter changes. Imagine doing a sports exactly. production where you're lining up a football team with 30 players on each sideline. And now you're able to make these changes very quickly throughout the course of a game. Uh, that would be phenomenal, exactly. a phenomenal tool, absolutely. And and this all integrates with, and we're we're actively testing this and improving it. But this is all designed to work with all of our data controller solutions. So if you're running like the scoreboard tool, running things like clock scores, if different visibility changes for bases or possessions, that will all be mapped real time because we have access to Mogert properties which control things like visibility parameters. So we can essentially drive those things to then communicate with data controllers. Uh, that's awesome. And I, and I think that's one of the important things to note is not only is Title Live giving the customers using in that live production workflow access to broadcast quality graphics, but you're giving access to broadcast quality graphics that can tie into automated platforms, whether it's from a spreadsheet exactly. or from a scoreboard. Uh, that automation is just as critical of a key as the quality of the graphics and the design of the graphics themselves. Yeah, and just proof of concept, just to you know, touch on that. So we have here, it says Fusion 2, right? And this is all reading from my spreadsheet in real time. If I go in here and type in instead of the number two, the word two, and I overwrite this file, we can see that one entire life recognizes that there's a change and then we can see that in the UI changing to Fusion 2. And then we can go from preview and then send that to live. So all of our data responds this way, whether it's from an XML file, right, stack crew, yep. um, JSON files, spreadsheets, social media posts, right? It's all real time. That's great. Now, I think one of the obvious questions that's going to come up with any kind of software platform like this is the computer system requirements necessary to run it. Um, I would imagine if you're running After Effects already on that machine, that you're going to have a pretty capable workstation. Uh, but what are some of the considerations when you're running Title Alive as well? So some of the things to take into consideration is, you know, running on an i7, sure. um, having at least, you know, minimum 16 gigabytes of RAM, anything higher than that, it would be preferred to. Uh, one thing that I always advise if a, if a user has the capabilities of it is finding a discrete GPU, yes. which will actually benefit a lot of the use case when it comes to After Effects running in the background in tandem with Tidal Live. But, you know, sometimes uh, configuring the system might be a little bit overwhelming for some people. So we do offer a turnkey solution as well that is also NDI compatible. And this turnkey solution, which is in fact what I'm using to run this demo, is what we offer to people. Okay, and that turnkey solution you're referring to is the Fusion 2. 
Uh, exactly. <laughs> so that's what we saw coming up on your graphics there, which is a, a great product plug also. Uh, so Fusion 2 is basically just, it's, it's a turnkey machine made to run Tidal Live broadcast. Exactly. Okay, great. It's all custom curated for that for that. Interview. Perfect. You know, I know one of the things that comes up when we talk to our live production manufacturers like New Tech with their TriCaster systems, like the Wirecast gear systems, is when you spec out the machine and you consider CPU, GPU, and RAM, and you take those three elements and you put them together, that was going to give you the horsepower necessary to run a broadcast quality production. Now you take that production, you take the NDI capability, you take a robust network on maybe something like a Netgear switch, and you add Tidal Live and After Effects and these other programs running in order to integrate this all, it further reinforces the fact that you do need a workstation class machine that is going to be able to keep up and drive this broadcast quality workflow. Exactly. And that's all in regards to like the scalability of it too, yeah. right? You want to be able to be prepared. So like, let's say one day you're doing two channels of graphics, but director comes in and you're like, I need three channels of NDI graphics for a case that you, you, and, and NDI is actually one of those things that you need to make sure your system is properly configured to handle, especially at 4K and especially at multiple channels, since there's a lot of like multi-threading happening with that particular process, you know, having something that's handy for being able to, you know, handle all those different things is definitely key in all that. And NDI being one of those things that is uh, continuously evolving and expanding in this industry nowadays is, you know, it's definitely don't want to ignore it. And you definitely want to make sure that you're capable of running an NDI production, yep. not only capable of running it, you know, with, with good internet, but, you know, being able to do that at 4K, having, uh, you know, that professional polish to your broadcast graphics, it's all, it's all part of the part of the deal. You Absolutely. Know? And I think that's one of the things that's great when you show this after effects workflow and you talk about Tidal Live and you talk about a turnkey system like the Fusion. Having that NDI output allows you to run those graphics on a separate machine, send them NDI back to your production switcher. And now you're really getting the best of both worlds. You're driving one workstation for your broadcast quality graphics, your After Effects workflow, your automation tools like you showed with the spreadsheet integration. And now the NDI is sending that all out to something like your TriCast or all Wirecast system. Yeah, and that actually brings up a very good um, thing that I forgot to mention that is valuable with this After Effects workflow is there is an initial requirement to have After Effects installed on the same machine that entire live is you know running the broadcast right. on. But one thing that we did um, decide to incorporate as a part of the workflow is you could actually one save your project right. So we're all familiar with being able to save things, so we can save the project. This actually stores the caches that I've generated for this unique instance of After Effects. So these spreadsheet records that I have here, right? Anything that I might have done in live data, as soon as I hit save, this can then run without After Effects being installed. So I can move this to a different computer after I've created those cache renders and then run it without being After Effects dependent. Oh, that's great too. You know, and then from, you know, a software licensing point of view, or you could have your graphics designers go and start working on that niche project while you're sitting there and driving your live production that's going to air at that moment. Exactly. So it was all created for the the one uh, scalability and flexibility. In Absolutely. And, and again, what we're talking about is the title of live software. There are three versions of that title of live present at $7.99 uh, Black Friday special available now through the end of the year. Tidal Live Sport at $9.99. That's the one that has all that sports um, uh, um, scoreboard integration. Uh, and then Tidal Live Broadcast, which is uh, their license that sells for $39.99, right now Black Friday special. Now, the Tidal Live Broadcast is available in both a perpetual license, like I can own the rights to, but it's also available in a subscription version as well, right, Joe? Okay. Yes. And if you were to purchase a like Fusion 2 NDI, SDI or an Extreme, you would then have a perpetual license of broadcast with that turnkey. Okay, unit. I got you. Perfect. Yeah, so, th so that's great too. So any of the Fusion turnkey systems include the perpetual license to title live broadcast.
Uh, again, you can reach out to your new blue dealer. Uh, we do have access to all these Black Friday specials. We can definitely help you uh, take advantage of the software and figure out how that fits into your workflow. If you're looking to set up an independent graphics machine, then you should put a lot of consideration into that Fusion turnkey system, which will give you all of that capability to run on a separate machine. And Joe, I imagine that Fusion system is just a Windows turnkey uh, machine that I can run after a fetch on with no issue at all, right? Exactly. exactly. Perfect. And then we'll be able to take advantage of all those great features that you showed off for us today. Most definitely. Joe, thank you so much for sharing the demo. I really appreciate you joining us. Uh, we are going to let yeah. you go, and we are going to announce the winner of a one-year subscription to New Blue Title of Live 5 broadcast. Uh, Joe T. from Vermont, congratulations. Our team will be reaching out to Joe T. from Vermont to get you your subscription activation code for Tyler Live 5 broadcast. Uh, do us a favor, share your production with us so we can see how you're making good use of those broadcast graphics and titles, and we'd be happy to share that with New Blue as well. Again, if you'd like your chance to win any of these great prizes, register at ndinovember.com. ndinovember.com is a single registration to get all of these prizes, to get access to all of our webinars throughout the month, and our playlist with all of our past webinars with lots of great information on some of the stuff that Joe talked about today. Netgear joined us to talk about how to set up an optimized NDI network. We've had New Tech and Telestream show off their production systems, and we've had a lot more in terms of PTZ cameras and other NDI technology. So definitely check us out at ndinovember.com. We still have some great webinars planned for you. Uh, tomorrow we will be joined by Telestream. We will be launching KiloView products, and we will have the uh, head from BirdDog joining us to talk all about BirdDog cloud production and NDI technology. So we have these great videos and more coming up. You still have your chance to win some more great prizes. So register now at ndinovember.com for your chance to win throughout the month. Thank you for joining us. Have a great day. NDI November is going on all month long for all things NDI. Your one-time registration gains you access to all the informative webinars with great guests and tons of giveaways. Check out the full schedule and register at ndinovember.com. Giveaway prizes include Bird Dog P100, JVC PZ200N camera, Telestream Wirecast Pro license, New Tech University class, and more. See all the giveaway prizes and register now at ndinovember.com.